like many others, it was the admiring of living by the ocean that brought me to Nova Scotia. And here, amidst these waves, I found the answer to my yearning for connection. My name is Joyce. <laughs> my story with sailing began by photographing the energy of world-class sailors as they competed off the shores of Nova Scotia. And this summer, I brought my passion in storytelling and sailing together, and joined the Broader Reach Adult Program. Here, guided by volunteer coaches, learning to sail becomes more accessible to newcomers. My name is Gennady. I come from Ukraine. Uh, it's first time I think about this. Uh, it was my dream. I think in Ukraine to take this course, but it's happened. War, war happened, and uh, I can. I just want to to go on, on this summer. Uh, my name is Luda. I'm also from Ukraine, and Tanya and Gennady are my friends. <laughs> and uh, uh, I was raised by uh, in the southern part of Ukraine, by the seaside. So. I love everything uh, on the on the water, so that's why I'm here. So actually, I, um, I was dreaming about learning how to sail. I think you're doing really well, but I, I want to work with you a little bit more. Okay. I, okay. I feel like a big part of the program is about building relationships with people. It's really fun to be that person. So I think that's been my favorite part of it. Learning English and sailing at the same time may initially appear challenging to newcomers. Perfect. So, what's the what's the front part of the boat called again? Bow. Oh, wow. wow. <laughs> <It's a, laughs> I feel like everyone's gonna start doing that. However, acquiring this new skill complements the language learning journey. So, do you see the little, the little rope on the jib sail? Yes, red and another side blue. Yeah. 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 Okay. So those are called your telltales. Okay. They tell you whether you're uh, sailing correctly. Okay. So now, what's interesting is you want them both to fly straight. Okay. What is the blue one doing right now? Yeah, it's it's flapping. Okay. Yeah. So I want you to push your tiller away a little bit till it stops. No, no, keep the sail straight. Oh, look, it's stuck. Yeah. Oh, ho, ho, you're figuring out some good stuff. Yeah. When we collectively navigate the intricacies of wind and water, we chart a common course towards effective communication and understanding. It's pretty, it's pretty dead out here. There's like kind of gusts over there. Yeah, it does seem to be a little, a little windy over there. Yeah. How do we tell if it's a gust or not? Well, if you look over at the water, the water looks like glass and a part where the water looks like little ripples. So where there's those little ripples, those are called, that's where a gust is. And on a day like today, it's where you're going to want to sail to get speed. So if we look at some of the boats out there, they're actually moving pretty fast. As water shapes the land it touches, our presence shifts the essence of Nova Scotia. My name is Olha Filipska. I came from Ukraine and I'm here almost a year. I really wanted to try something new. Of course, as we are in Nova Scotia and Halifax, to try sailing, you are realizing how water sport is nice and how the weather can change here because sometimes we have a rainy day and in the evening we have sun and it's beautiful to sail. I feel like it helps me to settle here as well. I lost the buoy which we're supposed to go around. I, I kind of I kind of noticed. Um, <laughs> to be honest, I followed them. <laughs> <laughs> In this enchanting dance with the ties, I've discovered a community of fellow drifters, each connected by the ebb and flow of the ocean's embrace. It takes us further, accompanied by the soothing rhythm of the sails and the freedom of the water. 
Swear.